Hi there everybody, it's Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator Halsey from slimandstylish.com. Today I'm creating this cute temp fold card using a Stamper Artist technique. I'm using the Climbing Roses Cling Mount Stamp Set from the New Occasions catalogue by Stamping Up. I'm using Whisper White for the background of the card and then I've just took a slightly smaller piece and I've put some snail on the back and then I've just dabbed it so it's more tacky than sticky and therefore it won't adhere permanently to the back of the card. Once I've got it in place, I just use a pencil to highlight where it is so that when I pull it off and put it back on, I will know where it should be. I'm using the corner rows for this stamp set. So lining it up in my Stamparatus, I pick it up and I'm using Memento ink. I'm going to double stamp it so that the lines are quite bright because I will be blending it and I want to see my lines. When you have a matte layer on top like I have, you will just get this white frame around the outside of it where it doesn't quite meet the corner of the card. So I remove the top piece and stamp it again just so that I have a flowing line all the way through. I've also marked which part is the top so that I know that I'm sticking it back into the right piece because I'm going to do exactly the same on the other corner. Generally this is quite an easy card to put together. It's just stamping, double stamping and then colouring before sticking it back down. So I'm going to put the music on and speed the card up so you can see the full process. And I'll just pop in at certain times to tell you which colours I'm using and what I'm doing next. I hope you enjoy it. colouring on this card I'm coming in with a smoky slate, dark and light blends and the blender tool. I'm starting with the dark blend and just doing the inside of the flower and then I'll come over it with the lighter blend to blend it all in. Because I drew with my pencil the line of where the top layer of the card was I know exactly where to go so I only do the outside of both the roses. <laughs> Bringing the top layer in, I'm using Old Olive Dark and Light to go around the leaves. I'm starting with a light colour across the whole leaf, then adding the dark into the centre and going back over with the light before using the blender tool. This is the way I'm going to colour all of the roses as well. I'm doing those in Lovely Lipstick, Bermuda Bay, Night of Navy and Highland Heather.
western I've took the light sea foam blend and I've just gone round the outskirts of both sides top and bottom and filled in the white bits in between the flowers so that it really pops off the card and creates a frame. I use a silicone mat underneath the top layer because when I used a snail at the start of this series it still had a bit of tack and it kept sticking to my grid paper. Once that's finished just adhere it to the back of the card and make sure it's in line with the picture you put first of all. I can then rub off the markings which showed me which was the top and then I place it in my Stamparatus ready for the sentiment. The sentiment I'm using is from the same stamp set and it's hope you're doing well. It just fits in the gap so I'm inking it up in my memento, double stamping it and putting it in. As soon as that's finished I'm just adhering it to the black background before putting it onto a tent fold card. I hope you enjoyed this project, please do like and subscribe for more projects or head over to my blog at www.slimandstylish.com where you have a link to purchase all of these items. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you soon. Bye.